Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. It's time for a track review. This is a new A Day to Remember song called Brick Wall, ahead of their forthcoming studio album, You're Welcome. <sighs> totally not a pretentious album title or anything. Due out March 5th on Fueled by Ramen. <sighs> okay, this song fucking blows. Get the, let's get that out of the way, and then let's explain. I'm already iffy on these guys. They are a criminally overrated band. Their album Bad Vibrations from 2016 is painfully generic. Uh, they have some decent songs, like Right Back At It Again was a nice attempt at being like a radio rock crossover hit. It, it never amounted to that status, but it, it had the potential in terms of the composition. Of course, Mr. Highway with that break, iconic breakdown is always a good jam still to this day. But by and large, these guys are just painfully derivative and painfully overrated. Everyone thinks they're the greatest thing since sliced bread, and they are not. Not to mention Josh Woodward, I think, is who's the drummer, bass player? It's a pedophile, so. Nice uh, scene culture. where it's, it's been coming out this year that pretty much every single prominent scene uh, vocalist or instrumentalist is a pedophile, so. Anyway, let's just delve into how... <sighs> just a laughably abysmal this song is from the disjointed tempo it starts off really slow and then picks up steam and it just changes tempos up and down the scales rapidly and it's like there, there's just no cohesiveness at all the vocals are so layered and choppy this honestly sounds like a b-side from uh all time lows album last young renegade which was their first album on this label field by ramen and that is easily their worst album so to be a b-side from that heap of trash to be fair to all time, well, that album had a couple of good songs. The title track, Drugs and Candy, Dark Side of Your Room. Um, side tangents. <laughs> uh, anyway. From the disjointed tempo to the choppy vocal layering and the alterations and the auto-tune usage. And the way that the, the vocals are, like... <sighs> there's just a lot of really bad production. And I guess you gotta chop it off to Feel by Ramen for sort of imposing this on them like they did with All Tempo and other bands. But they're the ones that signed to this label. I mean, it's not like they completely forfeited creative control. <sighs> like, and I'm seeing comments on the, on the official audio video on YouTube about how this sounds like if a country rock band was covering them. I can honestly see that. Which, which tells you that this is bottom of the barrel for a day to remember. But like... <sighs> And then it tries to do something instrumentally, but it's just like with the disjointed tempo, starting off really slow and then picking up steam and then just trying to just rapidly vary in the, the tempo and the the pace. It's just, it's throwing me off and giving me all kinds of really bad vibrations. It's just rubbing me the wrong way. <sighs> no, seriously, y'all need to stop riding this band's dick. They are not that good. And this new song is trash. I'm giving it a 0 out of 5. Screw, fuck these guys. Alright. Y'all know the deal. Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. And drop a like. And hit the bell to get notified next time I upload. And I'll see you next time.